Shut up and sit down. Oh, hello and welcome to a North Wales side-by-side -side video. Before I start the video, as an introduction, I just want to thank everybody over the last couple of months that's reached out to myself and Margaret to ask how she is after the accident she had in January where the double-decker bus ran into the back of her Yaris hybrid and wrote the car off. Unfortunately for Margaret, she was trapped in the car for nearly two hours before the fire brigade could cut her out of the car. So, thanks for reaching out, thanks for asking how she is, but I've had that many messages to ask. I thought the best thing to do was to make a video just to update everybody on Margaret's uh, recovery. She is slowly recovering. She is. She sustained a rather nasty knee injury in the accident. She's still on crutches. She's a little bit more mobile now than she was after the accident. And I'm glad to say work has progressed for her very well with the physio. She's now back in work. She's been back in work three or four weeks. And she's now settling back into her job. So she is only working short hours at the moment. She's only doing four and a half hours a day, five days a week. So I'm dropping her off to work at 10 in the morning and collecting her at half past two. So, because I won't have her going on the bus and I won't have her catching ta getting taxis because that's just a total waste of money. But I just want to say thank you to everybody who's asked how she is. Recovery is ongoing and will be for the foreseeable future. The physio and the doctor at the moment have advised her not to drive and Margaret's in total agreement with them because she doesn't feel right at the moment to get behind the wheel of a car because the injured knee is the right knee and she drives automatics so she's got no strength in the leg so she probably could drive but she doesn't feel safe to drive in case there's an emergency braking incident where she'd need strength on the brake pedal so she's taking the advice of the uh, medical profession at the moment and she's not going to drive until she's given the all clear so that's the update with Margaret. Thank you very much for all your concern, messages, get well, all this kind of stuff. It's much appreciated. Tomorrow is Monday. Tomorrow is a big day. We're collecting Margaret's new car tomorrow. It's finally arrived. It's been in the dealership a week. They've been doing all the adaptations to the car for Margaret's condition now. So we've we've had a steering wheel knob fitted for her 
and a few other odds and sods fitted to assist Margaret when she does start driving again. So that's all been done now. So three o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we're going to pick her nice Ego Cross, Ego X. I don't know whether it's a cross or an X, but I'm going to have to start calling it an Ego X, I think, because that's how it's badged. We're collecting the car tomorrow at three o'clock. At the moment, it's going to be myself who will be driving the car. And what we're going to use the car for initially is for me to run Margaret to work in it in the morning and to go collect her in it and go shopping in it. And it now gives us the opportunity to be able to take the dog out with us again in the car because poor Monty the dog hasn't been able to come out with us ever since Margaret's accident because I point blank refuse to have a dog in my GI Yaris will not have animals in my cars never have never will so Monty will be able to come back out with us again when we go places. We can take him down the beach again, we can take him places that are accessible to Margaret on her crutches. So Monty can join us again, which is brilliant, because he'll enjoy that. And the big announcement is, to anybody who's been following the channel and has been following the tips and tricks series for the Yaris hybrids. There's a new tips and tricks series about to be started and it's on the Ego X. I'm going to do another series on the Ego. The videos are going to be a slightly different format to the Yaris because a lot of the information and a lot of the systems on the car are very similar to the Yaris. But I am going to go through the entire car, go through every system, cruise, um, centre screen, all the menus, and all the adjustments that are available on the car, setting the car up. We're just going to do exactly the same as I did with the Yaris Hybrid. A full on tips and tricks series, but the videos are going to be a lot shorter, a lot more concise, because I learned a lot doing the tips and tricks series for the Yaris, and a lot of the videos on the Yaris were quite long and quite in depth, and this time I'm going to break them down into smaller sections so it'll just be if I'm doing cruise control it's just going to be cruise control if I'm doing speed limiter it'll just be speed limiter if I'm doing a menu on the center screen it'll just be that menu and they're all going to be individual so that's where I'm heading on that tips and tricks series and once again thank you for all the messages all the comments, all the concern with Margaret's recovery and as you probably now realise there's a lot of content about to come out over the next couple of months on the new Ego Cross. Thank you all for watching, please consider liking and please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me an awful lot in producing these videos. I hope you enjoy the Ego Cross Tips and Tricks series that's coming very, very soon. Thank you for watching.
Korinov.